everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome hi hello i hope you'll stick around so subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to turn on the bell symbol so you get notified every time i upload you can check the description box below for important links like where to find me outside of youtube facebook instagram or twitter if you're not following me on the social medias you might want to i do all of my vape giveaways over there so any extra stuff that i get from vape companies i give away on social media not here on YouTube, it's not allowed. Also, Twitter is the best place to chat with me directly, and Instagram story I post there all day every day is like a sneak peek into my everyday life, so check that out if you're interested. I do have a second YouTube channel, the link will be below, where I do non-vape related videos, so if you're interested in what other things I bring to the internet, you can check that out. And I do have a Patreon account where the monthly rewards are vape stuff. Depending on which tier you join, you can get e-liquids, mods sent to you from yours truly every month. If you're interested, check that out all down in the description box below but let's get into it i'm kind of excited for this video i have the orion q so this is from lost vape and i just did the orion original a few weeks ago and i was talking about how there's already a new version and it's the q which um i believe stands for quest because this says quest right on here and i'm super excited a pod mod for everyone it says it says this product contains nicotine which it does not you can add nicotine to it but they just have to put that on there so let's get into it i don't know if there's like significant differences between the orion and the orion q but i just oh ooh, that is so pretty i just wanted to try it out so we have a little mod and i'll go ahead and move that to the side and show you what else comes in it it has this little rubber piece which it i think is some sort of like lanyard or something but here is the lanyard here is the micro usb to usb cable and here is a pod that it comes with it also has a tension card do not inhale immediately after filling a warranty card and a user's manual so here is my orion q by lost vape i do have a gold version my regular original orion is just black so here is the little release button for the pod the fire button the micro usb port there is where you attach the pod let me pop the pod out of this little pack so here is the pod this is how you fill it you just unscrew this little cap and you fill down in there and then this other part is the mouthpiece and it does have adjustable airflow this is a one ohm and there are the contacts for the pod i'm gonna fill it up today with my flavor cloud kiss this bottle is almost empty oh my goodness it is available in 100 ml bottles it is 70 percent vegetable glycerin 30 percent propylene glycol blend available in 0, 3, and 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine on Bonsai Vapor's website. You can use my code TIA20 for 20% off your order. You're welcome. Shameless self-promotion, over. Um, so I'm gonna screw in that little cap. That would be a biatch if you lost it. Hopefully they have like available refills for that. And then you just tuck it in there like so, and you we go it's tucked in and ready to go here it is oh it's so pretty i love this honeycomb pattern um in and then it's like abalone almost on the in there isn't that what that's kind of like called abalone i think the pod holds two mils of e-liquid so it is tpd compliant for our eu vapors and it has a 900 milliamp hour rechargeable built-in battery it is 93 millimeters tall by 37 millimeters wide by 13 and a half millimeters in depth it weighs about 87 grams without the pod and goes up to a max of 17 watts output the frame is a stainless steel construction and the pod is a pc 110 food grade material when you are pressing the fire button, the indicator light does tell you the battery status. Blue for fully charged, purple for halfway, red for not charge it now. It is in lock mode, so to unlock it or turn it on, you press the fire button five times. Then you can see the indicator light flash, so it's on, and then five times again will turn it off or lock it. And like it said, you don't vape it as soon as you fill it. It does recommend doing priming puffs, which I always do. You guys have probably seen that in multiple videos of mine. You can do Nick salts or regular e-liquid in here, and it does recommend to change your pot out every week to two weeks. All right, so let's give her a little vape. Let's turn it on first. clouds bitch it does have airflow on both sides but 
to be quite honest it is a simpler version because it does not have the dna chip so it doesn't have the like adjustable replay mode or whatever also these are canthal so they're specifically for the q and not the other one but that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and check these out at directvapor.com that's where i got mine leave me some comments down below and fight for your right to vape so as always i'm tia and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video